I'm going to show you step by step on how you can get started with copy trading on BitUnix. But before I do though, I first want to say a couple of things. The first is that if you're unsure of how to fund BitUnix in Canada, check out this step by step tutorial video that I had made. I'll leave the link to the video in the video description. The second is that I'll also leave a sign up link in the video description where you can save 25% on your trade fees. The last is that if you're unsure of what copy trading is, it's basically what the name suggests. You're copying a trader trades. You'll be entering and exiting a position at the same time. Is it risky and can you lose money? Yes, of course it is and you can definitely lose money. That's why you'll want to limit the amount that you put in. Only put in money that you're okay with potentially losing. With all that said, let's get started. So right now I'm on BitUnix's homepage. I'm then going to go over here where it says copy trading and select this. When I do, it'll bring me to this page over here. Now on this page, it'll list out the traders who you can copy. It'll give you a brief summary of that particular trader. It'll tell you their username, the max number of people who can follow them, the current number of people who are following them, their seven day ROI, their seven day PNL, their seven day max drawdown, their assets under management or AUM for short, and their win rate. Now to learn more about a particular trader, you can just click on it and it'll bring up their profile as you can see over here. And on their profile, it'll show you their performance, their ROI, their PNL, an overview, and their trading preferences. And you can also toggle in between the days. So example, right now it's for one week, but if you select this, you could do 90 days or 30 days, and you can kind of just see what their performance is like or their trading preferences is like over these different time frames. Now over here at the bottom, you can see their positions. You can also see their position history, and you can see their transactions, their transfer history, along with their followers. Now let's just say that I'm interested in copying this trader. What I'm then going to do is go over here and click on copy. So right now this is the copy page for Cryptomania 2. And as you can see, there are two options over here. There's multiplier and fixed amount. The difference is that multiplier is based on proportion while fixed amount is just as it says a fixed amount. So over here on multiplier, if you take a look at this blue box, it says the order will be copied proportionally your available balance slash the available balance of the lead trader. So what this means is that if the trader puts 5% of his or her available balance into a trade, you'll also be putting in 5% of whatever your available balance is. Now, if you click on fixed amount, it'll say here, each order will use a fixed margin. This basically means that your position amount will always be the same. So over here, let's just say you enter 10. This means that your entries will always be 10 USDT, regardless of how much the trader who you're copying puts in. Regardless of whether the trader puts in 25%, 50%, or 10% of his or her available balance into a trade, your entries will always be 10 USDT. Now for myself, I want to copy this trader's exact trades. So I'm going to select multiplier with multiplier. I will be copying exactly what this trader does, but on a smaller scale, essentially. So over here in the amount box, you'll want to enter in the amount that you're willing to risk. Now, let's just say for myself, I'm okay to allocate 300. So I'm going to enter that in this figure here is in USDT. Next, there's this stop loss field for myself. I'll leave this blank because if I'm copying this particular trader, I want to also copy their stop loss. I don't know where they put their stops and I'm okay with taking a large drawdown. Again, the purpose of this is to copy the trader's entry and exit point. If my 300 USDT gets liquidated, so be it. It's money. I'm okay losing. For you, put in whatever you feel comfortable with. Next, over here, there's this advanced toggle. When you click it, it brings down these drop down menus. For myself, I'm okay with leaving these as they are. Again, I want everything to be the same as the trader who I'm copying. So all of this here, I'm not going to touch, just leave it as it is. And for myself, I have read and I agree to the user agreements. I'm going to then click on copy. And as you can see, it's been copied successfully. Now to see all of this over here, what you're going to do is go to copy trading. And then you can see that this part over here has been updated before it was just blank. And if you click on my 
copies, you can see what is in progress. So right now, this person hasn't entered any trades yet. And so I'll come back to this once I see some changes that have been made to this over here. All right, so I'm back. And as you can see, this trader is in a position or has been trading. And so far, I've realized a loss of 0.44 USDT. And so far, there's an unrealized profit of 2.53 USDT, meaning that this person is currently in a trade. One thing to note is that you're fully in charge of your position and you can exit it at any time. So if you go over here where it says end, this pop-up message will appear and it'll give you the option to confirm that you do indeed want to exit this position. So one last thing is that 10% of your profit does go to the trader who you are copying. So that's pretty much how you can set up copy trading on BitUnix. Hope you learned something and thanks for watching.